Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. We're going to pick up where we left off in the Devastator save, working on the main entrance, I guess, to the main building and also trying to sort out some of the colors that changed when we moved some palette stuff around and uh, really not much more to to do. I mean, we've got um, some plans for future factories, parts and stuff like that, but I really can't do that until I have the floors laid out. I need to know where I'm putting the buildings before I can put the buildings, you know? Uh, we recorded a new episode of the Citadel Cafe last night, myself and Steven ESC, uh, who you can follow on Twitch, by the way. Uh, same username, Steven ESC. And uh, we talked about Arcane Season 2, which I'm very excited for. And we talked about the first three episodes with spoilers. And then there's another three episodes, I think, coming out this Saturday, the 16th. So hopefully we'll be able to, if not talk about Act 2, but at least have another episode talking about Act 2 and Act 3 together, probably later on in the month. So looking forward to that. Uh, welcome in, Cosmic Dancer, Blast Jordan. Good to see you. Isaiah B. King. Hello, hello. Loki, Loki, and Sweet Sandy are also hanging around. Hope you're all having a good Thursday so far been a busy day for me. I was running errands all morning. So let's load in to where we left off. Does, stream, does Steven not stream at all anymore? I thought that he just downgraded to like not affiliate and he streams whenever he feels like it. I know he doesn't have a lot of time these days, but I thought that he was still, it's still something that he might do. I don't think he backed away completely. I thought it was just no longer affiliate. I could be wrong. I know he's really busy with outside of like, like he's got work stuff that kind of takes up a lot of his time. Yeah, he hasn't for a while. No, I knew that. I knew that. All right. So we were working on this area in this section yesterday and we were working on this lower part here, getting everything going on um, with the tunnels and the doors, trying to hook everything up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with this, this metal texture in there. I think I might want to change that up at some point. Uh, starting strong, haven't seen much of the Citadel Cafe with my schedule being what it is, are, but are you a Bobaverse fan? Seems right up your alley. I don't even know what that is, so I'm going to say no, I'm not a fan. I'm going to say no, I'm not a fan. Um, I think the next part is going to be... I think I want to try to get a new color in the in that blueprint i think that would be cool and we were working on this section here i guess that's the other thing trying to look at like devastator's midsection trying to come up with some cool shapes i had messed around with the, some some grid like places the other day and it wasn't quite what i was hoping for um i need to come up with some different layers I think in the wall there needs to be some depth happening and there's probably more opportunities for green than there is gray I went gray just because it was the simplest but I feel like there could be some more more green in the lower section so, um, I want to panel this off into different sections. So, like, I feel like I want to have maybe, like, this part be a section down here. And then maybe we'll have that shift over. So, like, if I grab this. Change this to standard. Uh, 
and I don't know. Maybe there would be good. So that could be like one, one section. And then I have some vertical parts. I feel like I need to have something in here as well. Maybe this is where we could fit um, some pillars. Little cosmic boy just walked in and said, whoa, cool. Hey, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. The whoa, cool is definitely, definitely what I want. Yeah, I feel like we could go some depth there. Pretty square. I don't know if that needs to go up higher. Might be better to do that even with a top. So this could also come out farther. I wanted to add um, like more depth to it. And I'm not sure about this top part. I feel like it's too dark. The problem is I'm looking at like four or five different designs. There's definitely a couple of lights that we could put on there too. <laughs> Three quarter walls in a box. Yeah, I mean, it, you gotta start somewhere, right? Before you can start to push the boundaries. Yeah, I feel like if I had this be a different color, right? Starts to section things off a little bit. Although again, I'm <laughs> I end up making these shapes that make it look like a barn, which is not my favorite. Not my favorite. 
I did sort of like that grill that we had before. Maybe what needs to happen is that needs to be a little bit more thought out. Right, but then that's not over the... That's not centered over the thing there. Neither one of them are going to be centered over a too wide gap. That's generally the shape that I see in a lot of the, the models. And then there's like lights up at the top there. And that could be decent. I don't know. We don't really have the ability to make round lights. We have um, these kind of lights. Which is fine. And that could we could center one of those up there. Or have two of them. I think the largest... Well, that's not bad. That's pretty good. not quite a square and they still get posted upside down which is weird but if we had two of those that would help fill up the space And I don't know if I have a yellow light as of yet. I know I have a yellow light color. Uh, go with that. That certainly helps. Certainly helps. I just wonder if we can make these um, this depth change a little bit better, a little bit greater. Be nice if it wasn't so flat. Plus, I feel like there needs to be more of a vertical 
separation here, and maybe that's what this could be. Oh, this doesn't work out to the right height. Crap. Because then on the inside of this, we could have maybe a different pattern. I don't know. That feels kind of just pattern for pattern's sake, you know? Oh, Bally. That's rough. I spent the whole... The whole time making a, a farm and then you have your kid tell you that there's better ones out there. Yeah. I can see. I can see that being frustrating. Definitely looks like teeth. Yeah, a little bit. I like this line. Like, I like that kind of echo of the shape. Um, I'm not crazy about this. I feel like we need vertical lines, not horizontal. the proper line behind it. Maybe. Maybe if it's not all green.
That's okay. I don't know how we cap it. I guess it just needs like a frame around it, maybe. The limitation on these is really annoying. I want him to go a little bit lower, maybe. I do sort of like it. Why is it not letting me move things? I was going to do this a lot, I would make a blueprint, but I just don't know if it's going to work out. I think that's pretty good. I think maybe it needs um, a different top to it, like an angle maybe. Put a beam connector down and then the thing doesn't snap to the beam connector. It's annoying. generally like the beam connectors. I probably won't use one here. Nope. Not my favorite. So I would say that if anything these need to be darker. Kind of looks like a vent. Yeah, it, uh, the radiator part of his chest. If you look at the... There's a couple of images. It's top, middle, and... Top, um, second from the left. Not so much on the far right, but same idea. 
Looks like a big radiator vent, right? Bali, you like designing your own farms? Yeah, me too. I, w I don't mind learning a principle from someone on YouTube. But if I'm designing a farm in Minecraft, I, I typically want to have, have my own stuff. Maybe this is something we can put a light on. That could be fun. Uh, how deep are these big signs? That is the exact right height. And it is about two walls deep. Kind of a cool effect. You're not going to see it on the train at all. <laughs> you know a color that would work in there? Gee, I wonder what color you could mean. So I don't know whether I've put that too far back. Or what. So it doesn't quite work the way I thought it was going to. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Hmm. I don't know about the red. I think the red might be a little bit much. We might want to go with the, the Decepticon purple. He's got red lights on him, but they're usually like smaller. Or on his eyes, you know. There's a couple of big red panels on some of his arms. But I feel like this is maybe better off as like a... Decepticon purple. I wonder if I've maybe... I'm not sure if I'm just over, doing like overkill. Because it's... um. It's really not showing up very much. Oh, it needs a roof too. Hopefully that's facing the right way. I cannot tell. It is not. That is, though. So I don't know if that's just too much vertical happening. Or not enough depth change happening. I 
definitely feel like there needs to be some some overlap here. that color. Right idea, but it feels a little bit too big maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like the green, so we might as well do that on this side. Goes over another one. Oh, out of concrete. So let's go at the front. Where would I get more concrete from? Oh yeah. We've got lots of stuff. I'm not I'm definitely not worried about resources, which is nice. I'm not worried about resources in the other playthrough either, really. Always faster the second time you do something. See, now these ones are right side up, and I didn't change anything. Weird. I 
So we have the opportunity to try something different on this side to see if there's something else that we like. Man, something is up with my coffee. I think my coffee grinder maybe had old grounds in it or something. Like, it tastes... It's really bitter today. Hmm... <clears throat> I could just do more of these. Uh, there's 17. I feel like we just do maybe space them out evenly. Or maybe with four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I kind of like that, actually. Don't know about the color, but I think I like the the design of it. And maybe we can come in down here. Hmm. What do we think, chat? The one with the three kind of plates makes it look sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit bolder, right? I agree. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, well that's easy to do. Uh, I don't know about those. And I feel like we need more of these lights too. Definitely.
and then I guess this is okay. Not crazy about how it it transitions here, but maybe we can change that a little bit somehow. Because I don't think this will look good purple. No, it kind of disappears. Definitely better off light gray. Uh, yeah, the signs acting as lights for sure. Yeah, I like them too. You know, that might be enough. You know, that might just be enough. I wonder if one of the other metal beams would look good. No, I think I like the painted beam better. This is wrong thing. And we've lost the light. That might be too light a color. I prefer it when the beam connectors um, disappear a little bit more. Either way, time to take a break. There's a hole in the floor there. Jeez. Folks, if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. Human, it is about your that time. next task, if you can manage it, is to go for a break. If you're successful, you'll be rewarded with the best prize of all, the knowledge that you can adequately follow a simple instruction. Go you. <laughs> Cosmic, thanks very much for the 200 bits and the DTS sticker. GLaDOS is so condescending. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, time for a short break. Uh, I do this about once an hour, folks. You get to ride the break train, I get more coffee, and everyone's happy. I'll be right back.
Oh, it's all good, Cosmic. Don't worry about it. I, again, I appreciate the, the, the bits. For the life of me, I can't figure out why they don't have the order of the train stations that you go in um, listed top to bottom. I just, I don't understand why this is... Like, the next station is not Megatron. We were just there. I, d I don't know what's going on with trains. And I don't know why they stop when you disable auto driving. It's annoying. They never used to. Ladies, gentlemen, and those in between or undecided, welcome back to Joel's stream. Expect more of the same epic building, chill vibes, perfectionism, attention to detail, and pink. All the pink. What? Someone get that cosmic out of here. Thank you for the sticker, Cosmic. <laughs> that really sounds like a radio announcer. That's pretty good. I appreciate the kind words, but I'm not sure what planet you think you're on. It's not the pink planet. The closest you're getting is Devastator Purple. Yeah, I think we keep that. This is cool, but a lot of work for very little reward. I think the idea for me here is going to be to keep these as simple as possible. Otherwise, I'll be building this thing forever. Alright, so this green goes over there. Let's do this. The nudging thing is one of the most powerful things creatively in the game, I think. Oh, need this. And that looks like it's on the bottom rung. Sweet. I don't think we need, um, oops, I don't think we need pillars around or beams around those. We can try them. Sometimes this looks cool. Um, 
If I do that, I maybe want to have the lights go the entire length of it. those would be better if they were farther out front. Maybe if it went all the way up to here. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe the lighter gray is the way to go. Yeah, I think the lighter gray. And then I think maybe we'll do two, three meters in the middle. Is there no Skeletor? Um... I think you're I think you're right it's a missed opportunity for a TTS sticker with Skeletor but I, maybe I just haven't have it enabled. Let me just I can double check. It might have been there but it might have been cringy. It might not have been very good. Oh, you checked the. F you can see the whole library, can you, Cosmic? Okay. How far is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we just have to tackle 
Yeah, I'm maybe not so thrilled with that bottom part, but maybe we can do something here. I wonder if I could have half a half a um, roof show up. I think it's two meters. That's okay. Hmm. Maybe it has to be a different color. At least it separates things here. That's fine. Maybe we don't need it to be off center like that. Maybe we could just leave it like that. It's fine, I guess. This is feeling kind of plain now. I don't want it to go overboard with the lights, but I feel like we need to have something. Maybe that has to be yellow. Having the brake train go through here is amazing. That's awesome. I'm glad. Glad that works out. I figured it would be a great way to show off kind of what we're doing, right? I wish that this would just work. about that middle one it needs something there but I don't know if a light is what it needs I'm trying to think about what other details we could put there about that later. Uh, I guess... I feel like maybe this should be purple. It is purple already? I guess it's just the way the lights hit, hits it. Huh. Uh, now, this gray part in behind definitely needs something. There's definitely some opportunities for some horizontal stuff there. That could be cool. Like, what if 
we had like a grill here. That could work. I think maybe we have to do a different part at the top. That or maybe this has to be purple. It's a lot of horizontal dashes. Not crazy about that. Yeah, I'm really not sure. It's a little plain otherwise. This is where you want like some mechanical stuff, you know, like um, lights and different stuff that you'd see on belts and things like that. The vent kind of thing there makes sense. Yeah, I just I think it's a little bit too distracting from what we've got going on. And I, I, I think those kind of things are cool, but they I feel like I'm going too small with the details. The details, I think, need to be bigger, chunkier, like we were talking about over here. So, yeah, don't know. That's not the right color. I thought I had another purple swatch. Ah. Why, 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 why?
Yeah, I just don't know what to put in there. Maybe it's just a matter of of adding in like another layer, right? Like maybe we just come in and come in here. And rather than having like a big vent, we just have like some details. Oh, that just looks like stripes. Yeah, not a fan. These are feeling very strange. These two walls. That's a little bit weird. Nope. Not like that either. Uh, the parts are dark purple. No, um... Yeah, this is just a purple concrete. It's just that the shadow makes them look really dark. I don't think I want a light here. Kind of stands out like a sore thumb. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, how do we power that? So there it is there. Somewhere there is power. Hmm. It's not the end of the world, but it doesn't really shine all that far. I almost want to hide them in there, you know? But I feel like it takes away from 
from those lights, right? Alright, I guess we'll leave it. And I guess the next thing... I mean, that's really... Pretty good. I don't I don't think there's a lot I want to do up here. Some people use a door to enter and exit somewhere, but not Joel. He removes the wall and replaces it because he is built differently. <laughs> Thanks for the sticker, Cosmic. <laughs> I don't know about built different. I certainly think differently. Oh, this is gonna change. Did I do this on this side? I feel like this needs a green a green wraparound. Actually, there's a lot of stuff back there we could probably delete. Oh, does that... That feels kind of funny, doesn't it? What about... Um, Getting this down here. I guess that's okay. It's that or we go the other direction. Maybe it might be better to go the other direction. Whoops. So this would all be gray. I feel like that probably works better. Out of plates. Holy smoke, Cosmic Dancer. My goodness. I still cannot find the button to stop this speaking when I donate, so enjoy some words from the mind of Cosmic. Pink flowers, pink flowers. Well, I found the button, Cosmic. Uh, it's on my end. Uh, the, um, the donation button has now been turned off for text-to-speech. Uh, I think the stickers are more fun. The, uh, the text-to-speech on Streamlabs is like sort of mid. Uh, but a $100 donation, Cosmic, thank you ever so much. That's super, super kind. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, for everyone else that's out there, yes, the text-to-speech on donations is off. Uh, just so that you know, if you're typing something out, it will not be, be read aloud 
Um, but I really appreciate that, Cosmic. Thank you. Go around this way. Oh, I need plates. That's what I was doing. Is it this one? No, nope, this one. Yes. Yeah, I think the TTS stickers are, are more fun. Looks pretty good. I don't think there's a lot that I want to do up there. Um, I feel like we just want to. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's that's the thing I just put in. I think. I think there's some lights that I see, kind of like on the inside of his ribs here and there. But I don't think I want to get too carried away with anything like that. I kind of wonder whether we can go with a different texture, different material. Oh, that's going to have the lines on it. Same with that one. Yeah. Penguin dude, hello, hello. Uh, thought it might be on your end. Did it just turn on without you doing anything? Yes. Yeah, it was on by default. Um, it is in your donation settings. I can't remember whether it's in donation settings or alert settings, but um, if you can't find it, let me know, because I do remember seeing it, and I could probably find it and send you a screenshot, Cosmic. So I feel like we've got a lot going on in the bottom. I'm not crazy about the color of these black, these these dashes. I do like the geometry. It's just that the color is a little bit different than what I wanted. Um, and I guess we're okay for these. I guess there could be some trim or some overlay on this stuff here. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing's going to fit up there.
Your engine starts to look too busy. I think it just starts to look too busy. Okay. Um, I guess the next thing then is to start to take some of this design and work it down down the sides here a little bit. Um, I also need to start thinking about decorating the insides of some of these factories. Although I guess we could also... Um, I want to do a purple version of this, so we could do that too. Almost out of sunlight. I don't remember how I decorated this either. I want to say there's some green in here, but like... I can't tell you whether this was all gray. Like, I don't know what the colors were. I have to go watch the VOD. Oh, this is the old designer. I might not be able to load the other one. I don't remember whether I built this in the 5x5 five five or the 4x4. Four four. Right, okay. So I did. I made it the other one. That's okay. Uh, we should just... Build another one, I guess. That was a weird noise. Load the blueprint. Everything. Do not have the resources. Plates. Probably quartz is what I'm missing. Man, why does the escape key not work in half of the menus in this game? It's so frustrating. Uh, blueprints. This one. Quartz crystal. Has anybody unlocked the final blueprint designer, like the great big one? That might be a, a good thing to um, to do to take a break from the Devastator design and decor would be um, grabbing the hydrogen gas. I've not worked with gas at all in the game. Do you find it bizarre that you need the uh, material? Well, the blueprint. Oh, that's the big one. I wanted the little one. I don't have the reinforced place for that. Crap. Hypertubes for the win. Uh, Penguin Dude, you've unlocked the Mark III Blueprint Designer. Um, you've beaten everything except for buying the statues. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> gas or wind? Definitely gas. Or massage to a BB wind. Reinforced plates.
I think it's a little strange that you can't load one blueprint into the like the smaller. I can understand a larger one, but I don't know why you can't go from smaller blueprints to larger blueprints. I feel like it's a strange way to. If if that was the case, you should be able to unlock the blueprint signers all at the same time. So I like this little thing. I just think it needs to have Decepticon purple. Maybe on these ones? The shoe the the the, the problem is that we have to remove this to access the light. See, now it says you can correct, select the right one. Nine. Three, Matt, glossy. Why does that not look nearly as bright as the other signs? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Purple with blue track lights, or do we want these two guys to be red because of Decepticon evil stuff? There's what it looks like from a distance with the blue. Oh, I think we go red. Here we go red. Decepticon rails. Um, I don't want to save it. I want to call it something else. We'll call it I have to change the name one rail hover support no rails um, change the color And I think I had these going every other rail. We have to do a little bit of a count here. Uh, Agastavi, do you do mostly satisfactory streams now? Not permanently. I've just been working and having fun in the game. So I've been doing them, um, I guess, lately. But um, I'm going to be getting back into Minecraft. And I want to do some other games too. So... I might kind of find out what's coming out and see if I can do some different games. Okay, uh, where did we start this? It looks like it's every, it looks like they're centered over these things. And then I would say, 
got one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're every 12, so that's good. That makes sense um, for the rails. And then I guess we just have to figure out where they start and where they end. That's a weird length. Doesn't really matter. Ah, okay. So here is where I feel like there needs to be an extra one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'd say maybe we want to put one kind of right here. That would be my guess. That would make the most sense. The Nookie subscribed to tier one, 16 months. Thanks so much, the Nookie. That's very, very kind of you. Appreciate the support as always. Looks like it's the right height. Nice. So now that looks like it's supporting the train. Devastator colors. I think I like the red. And I think that centering them over these makes the most sense. However, that means we're probably going to have to do a little bit of uh, finagling here. I guess we're going to need a four meter. Ooh, that's a blueprint. Hold on. Very cool. I like this a lot. It really doesn't take that long once you get the blueprint sorted. Those are all two meters. should have changed the length of these things before I started moving them around. I might still be able to do this. Let's see. Can I snap anything to this? No, that goes down. Shoot. All right. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point because there's not really any other trains coming and going, so there's no reason 
for this to have block signals. If it does end up needing block signals, we'll have to redo the tracks, I guess. I should be able to finish this just before I break. I feel like since 1.0 has come out that the the daylight just kind of turns off. It doesn't gradually get dark. It just gets dark like immediately. It is time for a break. Let me just check how you do that. Ah, press the escape key. That should take you to the breaks and snacks menu. Maybe there is a slight chance it might make you jump out of the world. Let's test it for science. <laughs> uh, I don't think the escape key does anything in this game. At least not that I've seen. Uh, this one is probably going to be easiest just to change the lights where they are. I love that it remembers each version of the light that you have in your like you can copy paste several lights at once which is cool there sick really like that you realize how big this base is when you try to like run and i've got blade runners on and you feel like you're going at a snail's pace. Feels very Cybertron. I like it. We might need to add some more lights up there. It feels kind of empty. But we'll figure that out later. Break time. Uh, and thank you, Cosmic, again, for the TTS sticker and the 200 bits. Very much appreciate it. I'm glad everyone's having fun with those. I think they're very entertaining. Cool. Break time. I will see you folks in about five or seven minutes.
Simrian, thank you so much. Tier 1, six months in advance. Thanks for the subs. That's amazing. I really, really appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day. And thanks for the kind words on the build. I'm glad you like it. It's been really fun to work on the Transformer build, yeah. I agree. I agree. I still need to bring in the other buildings from the Cybertron save into this new save. I think I'm doing that instead of Metroplex. That's the plan anyway. Just removed a lot of fuel generators from yours. I have to remove some from mine too. The Megatron build is, is overpowered. Or, I guess, it's more efficient now. So I can either start deleting floors and fuel gens, or I can um, increase the fuel capacity, which I might still be able to do. I haven't even thought about that problem yet. You underclock them all to 60%. Yeah, I'd have to do something similar, I think, if I wanted to keep everything. But if I delete the top floor, then it's one less floor to decorate, because it's currently not decorated. It's just kind of like roughed in. Yeah, the red's a little bit weird, but other than that, I think we're doing okay. Nice to see everything moving again, which is which is cool. Yeah, I feel like we need some some lights up there eventually. He's got some on some of his designs. The one in the the second from the the left at the top, he's got some lights. Maybe I should move some of these hyper tubes into the middle. Oh, do we like? Do we like these? I guess they're okay. Uh, oh, I see what happened. Yeah, this isn't very Cybertronian. It's more like a barn. Oh, but it's already designed like that inside. Maybe we can mess around with something here. Hmm.
feel like... Yeah, is this... Oh, this is all one wall. Okay. I don't mind the design on the inside. It's kind of cool to see that. So maybe what we'll do is use the ramps. Get rid of this. And then on the inside, it'll be the same. And then we don't need this, I guess, this pattern going around either. It's cool. We can kind of just stop that. Maybe just have that go straight. this looked like. You like that was white? Don't remember what color used to be here. Four hundred generators removed from that power station alone. Wow, Simran, that's amazing. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I've got some ideas for batteries and stuff for mine as well. The glass here is really reflective. I don't know whether to color these factories based on what they make, or whether I should try to keep with the Devastator theme, you know? Like the green and the purple. Obviously this is all temporary because it's not finished or designed. And this, I think, just goes nowhere now. Yeah. I don't mind this. I guess we could probably just do that again. I guess I would eliminate the need for that. Oh, but then that would show outside. Right. Yeah, let's get rid of that. see why I did that. Now I see why that's there. Hmm, 
mm, 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 mm. Right. I guess we'll do them both on the same. Makes sense. It's not that noticeable, I guess. I mean, really, we could just do the could do the whole thing if it wasn't going to look so weird inside. I mean, I guess I could just go along there. The white ending is a little bit strange. I kind of wonder whether I had this is green. I feel like this was green. Or maybe not. That feels more familiar. Obviously, it was not symmetrical, so I might have, might have done two different things here. Either way, this feels okay. I wonder if I could have it feel a little bit more natural if I did this. Um. Maybe. Sometimes it's cool to leave bits open as well. Except for when you can't, because it's a stairwell. I was thinking here was to bring this down sooner, but then I can't do it there. So that's outside. I think I might like I think I might like that detail. I 
a little cheaty on the stripe, but it works. That looks pretty good. And maybe to mirror this, we could have a door here. And maybe we can make it... Oh, nope, not there. I guess I could just mimic the panels, be fine. Could have it be an open door. That is the outside, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, hold on. This is outside. No. So we could have like a wide kind of engineering door here. Try to mimic what's happening on the other side. So pretty well. That eliminates the need for this and that. We'll probably keep the one on the end. feels a little bit better. Obviously I still need to do some stuff over here. Oh, this is gonna different. Right, okay, so it's gonna be asymmetrical there. Hmm. 
Right. That makes sense. I was probably trying to figure out here what I was going to do as far as getting this all sorted out, I guess. I could just go up and over. about the same. Don't know why everything is purple. Light gray or dark gray? I think the dark gray wins. at least feels a little bit better than the outside. And this, I think, is... I don't know why it's stopping. It's not that it's not getting enough stuff. I think it's that it's not exporting enough, because these are directly linked. Yeah, I, don't, I really cannot figure out why these are not operating at 100%. Like, there's nothing missing. So quick with building and deleting things, how do you not, like, delete 10 of something you're not wanting to delete? Um, I use control a lot. If you hold down control when you're deleting something, not hold down, but you select, like, you can kind of like select four things and delete them. So I use that a lot. Uh, I kind of want to bring this around if I can. has to be higher. Not perfect, but I think it's about as good as we can get. Uh, 
Oh, did I just delete the wrong thing? I just delete the wrong thing. Crap. Also, deleting 190 drone ports uh, as dimensional depots fill that space now. Really? I don't... I need a lot more stuff that I can store in the dimensional depot. Coloring and training components in 1.0 based on materials. Yeah, the thing that I did was I, I had better palettes in the Cybertron playthrough, and I copied them over manually, but... This playthrough was so old, I had all kinds of things in different order, so I didn't have like all my grays together. I still don't have everything quite the way that it should be. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's not quite where I want it. Um, I wish they gave us more than 18. It'd be nice to have 36. I still have a couple that I'm probably not going to use. Or, or it could be assigned in future. The thing I really want them to fix is the selection process for when you're in, like, coloring something, um, and you're in the menu, and, like, say you want to edit this. This does not select what you want. Also, why are these not in alphabetical order? Like, it just, it baffles me as to why they're in such a bizarre... I think they're in the order you make them? I really I really don't know I mean this is the one that I made today um, and then there's the defaults like I just I just don't get it it's really silly I don't know who thought that was organized all menus should be in alphabetical I 100% agree pixel rips holy nuggets Welcome in. Hey, Raiders, what's going on? Ulonkel, hey, I know you. Welcome in. Uh, Pixel Rifts, thanks for the raid, my friend. Uh, I'm assuming it was a combo of Minecraft and Elden Ring. Thanks for the shout out for Cosmic. Yes, Pixel Rifts was playing Elden Ring. What's going on uh, in Elden Ring these days? Are you still doing it with Zloy or are you doing your own thing? Black Beanie, hello, welcome in. Donoraf, good to see you, good to see you. Um, Icarus Doodles, Pixel Raid, indeed. Um, for folks in my chat that maybe are under a rock and don't know, uh, Pixel Rips is the co-host and co-producer of mine on the Spawn Chunks, the podcast all about Minecraft that we do every Monday. Uh, Minecraft Bingo and starting a fresh Elden Ring character, basically speed running to a powerful magic user. Oh, cool. I've, I've been itching to get into an RPG and I have not figured out which one I want to get into. I played a little bit of Borderlands 3 the other night on the couch, but I want something, I think a little bit more fantasy, sword and sorcery, something where you can gear up, you know? Um, but that sounds cool. Um, you're really getting a lot of playtime out of Elden Ring. That's awesome. Icarus Doodles, hello, hello. Uh, welcome in, everyone. Uh, I appreciate you all coming over with the Pixelris raid. Let me show you what I'm doing in Satisfactory here. Uh, if you perhaps don't know, uh, obviously I do the Spawn Chunks with Pixelris, and I do the Citadel Cafe with friends. Actually, Pix has been on Citadel Cafe a number of times. We just started doing um, Arcane um, reviews on the Citadel Cafe with my friend Steven this week and uh, in Satisfactory here we've been working on Devastator uh, a few things we added today were these lights at the bottom and detailing out some of the the bottom pieces here 
Uh, and then we have these floating like anti-gravity train supports and they go all the way along this whole place now. And then of course, all of it is happening over the main bus, which is all of these parts and minerals and things being sent into factories, turned into things, brought back out on the belt, sent down, turned into other things. Uh, but it's a pretty, pretty large bill. Uh, for folks that are more Minecraft minded, uh, these walls, these sections are four meters tall each. So when you think about how big this is, it's a little bit wild. Gotta run. Yes, Pix, I appreciate you have to, um, I appreciate you have to raid and run. And how's it Thursday already? At the end of Thursday. Um, but yes, thanks again for the raid. Um, enjoy your evening and I'll see you on Monday for sure. Well, Uncle, thanks very much. I'm glad you like it. Glad you like it. I'll I'll hype, jump into HyperTube here and you guys can all see the, the scale of it. I'll back up a bit. This is something I wish we had in Minecraft. HyperTubes. Super fun. You get to see the trains going around. Oh, the train station's all white now. <laughs> I completely forgot that I changed all my palettes. We should turn these to purple while we're here. So we've got uh, a bunch of minerals and things coming in from other spots in the biome. We added a new uh, train roundabout. You'll be able to see that train take the roundabout there. So we've added a new kind of exchange there. That's going to replace this old one, which still is functioning, but will eventually be removed. Uh, and then we've got train station is where all the uh, goodies come in. This is just my construction train. And then everything is going through the main hub, uh, the main bus actually going right down the center of Devastator. And you can sort of see like how it's like at this main road with like buildings and factories on either side. And it's meant to look like Devastator. So you can see the chest plate immediately. Uh, and the Decepticon symbol that we've picked up. But then also like um, on the right hand side, his legs and his knees are kind of what I use for the um, the description, like the shape language for this. I still have to kind of refine it here. Uh, obviously the colors are weird because I changed my palettes around and, and these palettes are linked in the world. So if you change this color, anything you've already painted in the world will change that color. And I did that. And so now I've got things like white, um, white trains and I don't want white trains I want purple I want these to be purple too goes much better with the Devastator theme. There we go. So yeah, so the, the trains come in. They come into their assigned station. And then you see all the minerals and stuff get pulled out the side. And we'll drop down underneath. This is actually a fun... The little animation is kind of cool to watch. Pretty large build. Yeah, that's the understatement for sure. So it's a lot different than hoppers and minecarts in, in uh, Minecraft. So then the train goes back on its way to go get more. And then underneath, all of this is emptying the train, right? So you can see that everything starts to empty, empty out of these and down here. I mean, I think the train station would look better pink, but you do you, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, TGS sticker, Cosmic. I don't even have to look. Any joke about pink, I 100% know who that is. Uh, obviously, these were all purple, but now they're white. Uh, but this is where all of the goodies come in and it's all organized and then shot down the main hub main bus i mean everything along here gets 
redirected down this way. And sent down into the factory. And I can actually ride a belt here. So this is what we've been working on mostly building the last couple of streams this week, getting this looking uh, decent so that when I take screenshots and when I'm puttering around here, it actually looks all right. Uh, we were just uh, working on this section here, uh, trying to re recolor it and make it look a little bit nicer when you, you folks all came in with the raid. Um, so once again, thanks ever much, so much for coming in. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you leave a follow here on the channel. Uh, we uh, do stream Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, I think I want to make this... Is that purple? I think that's purple. Yeah. And do I want to keep that stuff? Um, let's go with... to there. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I could do a custom bit here. Oh, that doesn't really look all that good, does it? No, I prefer prefer the wall. I wish you could do more with these. Uh maybe We'll put a plate across the whole thing. Yeah, I don't think I want to connect it at all. that's the case, maybe we'll just make this gray. I almost want to add more beams on the other end. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that would show up anywhere. It's just a stairwell, I think. Yeah. Start right in the middle, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. At least it feels intentional now. <laughs> it was Claptrap that said it? Sure. So I like that stuff. Maybe I should do that along here too.
to go a little bit higher. How did I get that in there? I probably deleted the beam afterwards. think that that's going to touch. Oh! That's pretty good. Although it covers up the caution side of things, which I didn't want. So I think that has to be a little bit higher, maybe? tend to connect better to foundations. Do more options. Yeah. I think I want to keep them this light purple for now. Or we can go with a, the, the brighter lights this version. It's a three meter sign. I have to do this on my own. Subtle purple is better. That feels like a little bit more like what we want. All right. Yeah, looks much better than it was. Much than it was before. I don't think I want to put windows in here. I think it's probably fine like it is.
I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, I think we might have to start thinking about moving these hyper tubes into different locations. At the very least, we can just start to take them like up and over stuff. tried um, a hypertube connected to two supports at the same time. I don't know what actually happens there. But like this to me... Looks like something we could probably move around. What is this? It's only a one meter floor. Is that? Is there a floor? I think that's something I have to have to stand on. Yeah, maybe. Because um, I feel like this could easily be angled. That or maybe it has to come up sooner. I feel like that kind of goes with the theme of a lot of the Transformers paneling. It tends to go on these little angles. stuff is supposed to be. Not crazy that it like kind of touches the top of the door, but you can't really see that from down here. And then something we did in the other playthrough was mess around with um, having stuff out farther. Kind of overlay things a little bit. something we want to do. And the lights went out. Holy crap. That's That's been new, I feel like, since they've updated the game this week. It seems to really switch things off quickly. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. I may have to rethink that decision. Uh, that means, though, that it must be getting close to the end of my stream day. So I will pass you all along to somebody else playing 
satisfactory. Or if there's um, a consensus in chat, we can send you on to a different game. Let me just see who's live. It does, yeah, like it just switches right off. Like I was ignoring the sunset there. I, I realized that. Um, so we've got, whoa, Jess is playing a farm sim. We've got uh, ammunition playing satisfactory. Uh, we've got Captain Erock is also playing farm sim. Folks like a farm simulator. Those are both fantastic streamers. Let me just see here. Well, let me know in chat, uh, Wojess or Captain Erock, if you're familiar with those. Once again, folks, thank you ever so much for a, a lovely afternoon. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, Cosmic and, and Sandy, thanks for the moderating. I know that Sandy was uh, taken up with the puppy, uh, but uh, they were around here at the start. Uh, thanks for the the stickers and the and the donations and the subs. Uh, again, thanks to Pixel Riffs for the raid. Uh, people, if you haven't already gone to follow Pixel Riffs, please go do that. You are probably are familiar with both of us if you were already here on my channel when they sent over the raid. Uh, but there should be a new episode of the Citadel Cafe out in the next couple of days. I'm aiming to get that out ahead of the November 16th release of Act 2 for Arcane because we talked about Act 1 of Season 2 of Arcane this week on the show. Uh, of course, there is a new episode of the Spawn Chunks out every Monday. That is thespawnchunks.com, thecitadelcafe.com, or really just look for those podcasts on YouTube or your favorite podcast app by name. Very easy to find. I'm also easy to find online, Joel Duggan, across all social media. You can uh, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like to support the channel and get access to the Discord for as little as two bucks a month. It is a great help to me. Uh, and it also is a very accessible way for you to join the community and participate. Uh, thanks again for all the subs. I, I really appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. Uh, we're going to send you along to, let's go to Captain Erock, uh, playing Farm Simulator, I believe, 2025. And I will see you folks tomorrow, Friday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours uh, for a new stream. And I will let you know then, I guess. Or maybe I'll bounce around in the Discord and see what people are, are feeling tomorrow. Either way, we'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.